and welcome to my channel. This is a little different video today, as in it's a repeat. <laughs> I had a subscriber reach out to me about when I had made um, dandelion oil, and I had forgot all about that. I had a video about home remedies, and I, I had flare on it, and the hermit crabs, and I thought, you know what? It's that time of year. My yard right now, because we haven't mowed yet, is full of dandelions. I mean, it is full. So I can make a, a good batch again if I wanted to. You want to use all you can. You want to use a lot. I mean, m m you want to use more than what you think you need. It, trust me, tons of them. Um, it'll just give you a good stronger batch of oil. So I thought, well, it might be a good time to re-release that video. So I pulled it from YouTube and took out the parts we don't need and left the parts in talking about how to make dandelion oil and the, the good healing properties that it has. Now, it's funny looking at myself. That was back in, I think, March. I already forgot now. I think maybe March of last year or sometime between March and the summertime. I don't know. It was right after the pandemic really hit. And, um, I was still coloring my hair and it was still short. I mean, short. I hadn't had a haircut since last June. You can see, if you see <laughs> that little whatever, <laughs> it's not even a ponytail, but it keeps it off my neck. I hadn't let my hair get this long in many, 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 many years. And I haven't let it go natural in many years too, so. Just looking at myself, I don't look like the same person. It's kind of kind of odd. Anyway, so that's what this is. It's just a, a repeat of an old video that I thought you might find useful. And so we'll just go get started. Yes, I'm making a fresh batch of dandelion oil. My yard, and I had the kids, Holly and I call them kids because they are my kids. I don't care if they are adults. <laughs> I had them go out last Friday and gather up all, because we, we don't have, like, great grass, but we do have a lot of dandelions in it, which Flair is happy because she loves to eat them. That's the one greenery I can get her to eat is dandelion flowers. So I had them go out and gather up all of them, because all you have to do is take all the stems off, lay them out. I didn't even wash them. Lay them out on a towel. Let them wilt. I just let it go overnight. You just want some of that initial water to come off of it. You don't want to dry them out completely because they'll turn to the, the little blow puffs, you know, that you blow out in the yard. You don't want to do, you don't want to do that. Then all you have to do, put them in any old jar that you have. This is a recycled milk jug that I bought at Earth Fair last year sometime. And we had been two times. Our first and our last. It was too expensive. It cost me more to go over there and return this jug than it was just to keep it and <laughs> reuse it. So I'm doing that. There is no magic amount of flowers to use. Oh, let me see. It's about half and half. I'm going to let it sit for two weeks. Some people say you can put it out in the heat in a sunny window. I don't have one of those. I don't have a sunny window. When I made it before, I never did. I just stuck it in there in the closet where it was dark I didn't even leave it in the sun and it made a beautiful dandelion oil put up this is a little tea bag just something that will let the water evaporate as it sits and then I use this for salves it is a wonderful thing for skin rashes and bee stings and bug bites I will go outside and tell you about how I learned about the dandelion so hold on so the story behind the dandelions several not several more than several years ago we had ordered from our favorite chinese restaurant here in town called dragon walk well we had it delivered very rarely do we get it delivered he just goes to get it but i think he was tired that weekend it was something he just he was not in the mood to drive across town <laughs> So we had it delivered. 
Well, this little guy comes, and I had just got stung by a wasp. We used to have, knock on wood, used to, I don't want them back this year, a wasp problem. Dirt daubers, to be more specific. You know what a dirt dauber is? They build those little mud um, nests. I guess you call it, I don't tunnel, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> on the side of your house and everything like that. Well, we used to get those in our house. See, the big room that we called it, the built-in carport, we just called it the big room. It um, was finished, but when we started working on the house, David said, oh, well, how, while he's doing demo, he's just going to demo that room. So he demoed it, and it's still sitting there unfinished to this day. Has a floor. The walls, I mean, it's finished, but he took the, m Mama had paneling up, and we were going to sheetrock it, and we just have not done that, and he took the ceiling out. Well, it stayed exposed. So, the day I got stung twice, one year and the next year, the last time I got stung, I marched up to him, I said, you don't have a choice. You either put me something up on that ceiling, or it's on <laughs> so he had rj come over that weekend and they covered the ceiling anyway so i was sitting over in my chair and i at the time had a, a throw or something on the arm so it was like camouflage and when i sat down i put my arm on the armrest and that sucker got me i'm getting chills thinking about it because those suckers hurt if you've ever been stung by a dirt dauber, whew, they are fierce. The other one got me over at Flair's Tank. And that was, gosh, that was back when Holly was like maybe 18 years old. And I went, one side I had to make a cover. And the other side has uh, a pre-made cover. It's like, anyway. So the one, I went to lift it up. And when I did, it was setting up under the lip. And it got me on the finger. And that is when her boyfriend who lived here told me about um, putting a cigarette on it. And he, he smoked. So I got a cigarette, wet it, the tobacco, and put it on there. And it helped. It really did. Well, when I got stung right here, I mean, it had just happened. And we got our food. And I'm still, I mean, you reel from that for a <laughs> good little bit. So the little guy, very broken English, very broken. He told me he was pointing to the yard and I was trying so hard to understand him because he was trying so hard to tell me. He was pointing, he was doing this, he was like taking it, doing this. And he, he got the word yellow out. And so we got around to it to where he was talking about the dandelions. And somebody that he knew and he, I got that he was from Korea, I got that, and somebody he knew had splashed hot oil on, and he took the dandelion and did the dandelion, and it helped, so I got all that from him, well, I got me some dandelions, actually, I didn't, he went out there and brought me some dandelions, he went in my yard and brought me some dandelions, bless his heart, and so I rubbed the dandelions on it, and oh my gosh, if you get a, a sting, go get you a dandelion and rub that dandelion on it, it will soothe it. Well, that's when I started researching about the healing properties of dandelions. And turns out they're wonderful for skin rashes, bug bites, all the things that can go on with your skin. So I made a, a nice batch of dandelion oil and used it for different salves, um, ointments, just straight up rubbing on so that I needed a fresh batch and that's what I was saying I had Holly and Kyle come out here I said you go to every inch of this yard <laughs> and they got every one that they could find you just like I said clean the stems off lay them out let them wilt overnight and put them in there and that is just olive oil plain olive oil no, no fancy extra virgin expensive nothing that just just plain old everyday olive oil let it sit for a couple weeks, strain it. There you have your dandelion oil. So there's something for you to do when you're sitting around and on the porch and you're looking out and you see all the dandelions in the yard. Just go on out there and make you some dandelion oil. <laughs> so that is the story about how I learned about those.